Well, I picked up my engine today for the Corvette. It's right there. It's a 350. Uh, I was told it's been sitting on a stand in the corner of the shop for the past six years, at least. Uh, I don't know any history on it before that. Uh, they told me they don't know if it runs. They're not sure really anything about it. So we're going to get that out and put it on the stand. Right there, this one. And we'll get going tearing it down in the next couple weeks or so. But I got to work on that this weekend so I can get that going so I can make space in the garage for the Corvette. And then I also got this Turbo 350 Trans, also unknown condition. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I might not even be using any of this stuff. We got our HEI distributor. This is an Excel distributor. I actually think I have the correct distributor cap for this. So that's good. This is a nice billet distributor. We use that. Slide this out of here first. Like I said, unknown condition on the trans. And it spins, sorta. So, we'll see. in park so like 50 50 shot that this is not is gonna work i don't know where to put this for right now some instrument panel pieces and some bolts that are labeled so that's good torque converter this is why I like plastic bed liners because you can slide stuff. A lot of people say they don't like plastic bed liners because things slide. I prefer them because things slide.
So we're gonna move this engine onto this engine stand. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna put it on here and just look at what we got for now. And then once I start tearing into it, we'll get a good video of all that stuff too. Good thing this engine stand was just on a small block Chevy. stand adapter on the engine like that or while it's hanging in the air and then I lift the engine up straight it up. Get it up about a little higher get up a little bit higher than the than the stand and then what I'd like to do I probably should turn my chain around so I could put it on this way but and not crash it into my door. We're gonna go this way with it and see if I can put it on like that. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the stand on the engine, not the engine on the stand. This way you're not fighting around with trying to get it perfectly lined up. You just lift the engine stand up and slide it on. As I'm over here fighting with it. easier if I didn't have this off centered. And maybe if I had more space. I don't know, more space or less projects? Maybe both? Bring her down. And there you go. One engine on a stick. Easy. One thing I don't like about this stand is the back wheels. 
are fixed, so they only go forward and back. Uh, the front wheels do pivot. Uh, some of the other stands that, that I like to use have the wheels that pivot on the back. So that's something to keep in mind if you're looking for a stand. If you can find one that has casters on all four rather than just in the front, it makes it a lot easier. But let's see, uh, you also want to get ones that have the two wheels in the front instead of the one because the ones with the one wheel in the front, they're very unstable. You drop an engine very quickly on one of those. Let's get, I'm gonna get all this stuff resituated and I'll be back with you. Well, that was a lot more work than I wanted to do at 10 o'clock at night. But we got the engine, got the engine out of my truck on the stand. We got, oh, candy wrapper. We got Snickers, protein bar. That. So we got a quadrajet. We got some nice shiny chrome valve covers. This engine obviously didn't get the last person home. Uh, Edelbrock Performer intake. So that's good. I was going to look for one of those for this car. So let's go get that one cleaned up. Uh, we got some manifolds here. I'm not sure what this engine came out of. That one's got no two sensor in it. I really have no idea what this engine came out of. If anybody recognizes these manifolds, let me know what you think it's from. <clears throat> Our casting number, it's hard to see, is 3970011. Four. And it looks like the engine was originally blue. So maybe early Camaro, early 70s or late 70s, early 80s Camaro. Maybe out of a C3 Corvette. I don't know. I really have no idea what the assembled engine is supposed to look like for a C3 Corvette. So we're gonna learn that together. What else do we got? I mean, all the pulleys and everything look like they're in nice shape. This one's dented just from probably being in, in the shop for so many years. Uh, oil pan, normal dents and stuff. Fuel pump's got, uh, got some bends on it. Overall, I mean, it's got the AC Delco plugs in it. They're all tight. How do we look down the distributor hole? A little bit of rust down there. I don't know if you can see. A little bit of rust, but nothing too crazy. Oh, this thing needs to be rebuilt. She's had a little bit of water in her. I don't know if you can see that. Well, I guess, I guess while we're here, we'll pull the valve cover off. Let's say this one. I'll get a wrench. So we'll pull this valve cover off real quick. I'm going to need a new, uh, new little thing on it. I'll get that up in a minute. Pick these up. I'll just put those right there because I'm going to put this back on. Whether it's good or bad, it's going to go back on. I just don't want to lose my hardware. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, she's seen better days. Is that a wing? It has a wing. <clears throat> But what's our casting number on our heads? Oh yeah, she's a little rusty. Uh, what do we got? 
we got as you can see maybe less bright of a light I got three nine nine eight nine nine three nine no three nine nine eight nine nine three 993 heads. I feel like those are not good heads. But I could be wrong. I'm going to look up all these casting numbers and figure out what I got. Uh, I guess the last thing, let's see. Let's see if she'll turn. I'll go get a put, a, put a wrench on there and see if she turns. All right, what do you think? Yeah? Or nah. I'm gonna go with yeah. All right, it does turn. That's good. This has been painted so many times. <clears throat> Alright, so off first judgment of this engine, I would say <clears throat> needs to be rebuilt, but if I was in a pinch and I needed a motor, this could probably go in a car and run. But I'm not going to take that chance because I want this Corvette to be really nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll get, tear we'll get tearing it down and see how the rest of it looks. And then we'll figure out what to do with it. Figure out if we're going to rebuild it or if we're going to go with that LT1. Or if we're going to go with that other... L98 over there. I don't have the top end of that. Or are we gonna go with this guy? Ooh, what's that? Is that a big block? I think it is. All right, we'll see. <laughs> Well, there you have it. There's the engine. <clears throat> you saw the car earlier. Um, like I said, I'd like to try and get this car running and driving by the end of 2024. So I guess check back with me periodically on this project and we'll see how far we get. I'm Nick. Thanks for watching. Get out and wrench.